Hey y'all, Kate, Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles, and I am just doing a little demonstration and a recommendation. I am by no means a chicken expert, having only been doing this a few years, but this time of year, um, I think it's good sporadically through the summers to add some vitamin, vitamins to your chicken's water because it is a very stressful time. Heat, and as if you are a chicken owner or someone who's thinking about getting chickens, summer is the hardest time on your birds. Um, except for a few breeds who, um, you know, will specifically say never have in the cold weather, it just doesn't exist. They have lots of feathers, they have lots of down. At night, when it's the coldest, they all poop their feathers out. Um, and that captures the air pockets that their body warms and they all snuggle. But, so as we are starting to go into, well, it's, the very, it's September, and on the 24th, I think is the, or the 22nd, is the first day of fall. We're still hotter in Hades here in Delaware, but I have some chickens who are starting to molt. And thanks to a couple weeks of really cool weather. But, um, so I have a deep well, which feeds from a deep aquifer fur. So my water is always cold and crisp and clean, but I still keep in the fridge jugs of cold water that I lace with Rooster Booster. All right, so this has vitamins, electrolytes, and a lactobacillus. So they're getting vitamins that, you know, they, they desperately need electrolytes, which electrolytes are salts. Electrolytes make them want to drink more, so that's how electrolytes work. Your body, everybody, every creature needs electrolytes, but they also make you want, <clears throat> sorry, want to drink more. And so that's always good for you. And then they've got the, the lactobacillus, which is very similar to what you're gonna find in yogurt for humans. Dairy's not that great for chickens. They can have a little bit, but. So with the rooster booster, I know a lot of people who just spill things from the hose, which I do too. You can always um, pretty easily find a jug or an old milk jug. Uh, a gallon is 128 ounces. These are not quite half. They're like 52 ounces, 53 ounces. Um, this calls for a third, um, let's see what this is. I'll let you guys see it. So you're not just taking my word for it. It calls for a third of a teaspoon per gallon. So I use the quarter of a teaspoon little measuring thing. And I don't quite fill it full. You see what I mean? And I add that to these 52 ounce jugs of water. It doesn't have to be accurate. Um, bait chickens don't taste, but gives a little tinge, so it kind of looks like a really weak urine sample. But I keep these in the fridge just as a. I mean, they have their water. Um, my chickens have water that I fill from the hose. And I will add this, but I know a lot of people think that, you know, when you fill from the hose, it's really hard to add, you know, to know how many gallons. You know, it's just a matter of if you're being conscientious, know how many gallons are in your bowls or your watering troughs and guesstimate. You know, you're not going to kill them if you give them a little extra rooster booster. But that's kind of how I do it. So for a 52 ounce bottle, I use a little less than a quarter of a teaspoon, probably about half of a quarter of a teaspoon, which would be an eighth. And that seems to work great. Um, it really helps their bodies to to be strong because molting is stressful on their bodies. And then their bodies need a lot of protein and a lot of vitamins. It takes a lot of energy to make new feathers. And this is just something that aids them in that. Um, I always make sure I add, um, I use a uh, Calm Box in House Reserve and I add a high omega-3 supplement to that. This time their hen house reserve is mixed with a high omega fatty acid um, feed from Kalmbach, that's the only feed I use. Yeah, I did get my chickens from scratch and I just buy that from Tractor Supply. You know, a lot of people call it cake, it's a dessert. Um, I have a lot of grass in my yard. So my chickens eat a lot of grasses and natural stuff. But I find when you throw a little scratch out there, it entices them to scratch more with their claws. And then they dig up protein, bugs, larvae, and stuff because they're scratching for those grains. So, you know, everybody has their own opinion and how they do it and what's best for their birds. But this is just a recommendation I wanted to share. 
And you can see it's not real yellow. Sometimes if the teaspoon is a little heavier, it'll be a little more yellow, but my chickens have uh, had no mites. They've had no health issues. Um, the only chickens I've lost are chickens who I think were, because of their breeding, um, there's too much inline breeding and they just weren't strong, healthy chickens. Um, like I said before, all the chicks I got from Tractor Supply, strong, healthy. One had a heart attack and one got uh, partially picked up by an owl who couldn't carry her weight, but she still died from the trauma. Otherwise, they are the healthy birds. I do use a dewormer and about once or twice a week, whenever I refill their food, I always put a scoop of that in their food. And it's from the poultry store. The natural dewormer is full of different uh, spices and peppers. And like, like, if you get on your hands, don't touch your eyes or any, or your nose or your pri private parts because it will burn like fire. But I've managed to go two years without ever having to deal with knock on wood, that's me knock on the cabinets, mites or uh, intestinal parasites or gape worm or anything like that. And yeah, I check my birds a lot just because we're getting into that late summer. I live in a humid, moist area. Um, I just I just check my birds often. Um, I do use first Saturday lime in their coop. I use a little bit on the floor of their coop run. If you follow my channel, you know I have a, a six foot tall, five feet wide by 15 feet long dog kennel. And I chose that configuration rather than the 10 by 10. So one end can be their coop. And uh, so I make sure I keep some first Saturday lime spread there. Any place in the yard where I think it's staying moist for too long, I put some first Saturday lime. And once I clean things out, scrape things off, I put a light sprinkling up whatever. It does help with your parasites. It does help with the flies. But today was about rooster booster. And just, you know, something easy that you can just add to their water. Um, it never hurts to, you know, a lot of people have big, huge tubs that they use for water troughs. Um, in the winter, I use a heated dog bowl. But it's really not that much more effort to leave one of those empty one that they really like the most and then just fill it with some vitamin water but coming into that season i just wanted to share with other people who love their chickens and have chickens that it's very important during molt to make sure that they get you know an optimal amount of really good protein in their diet vitamins um, electrolytes and uh, the lactobacillus is good for their gut so anyway this is just me sharing a little bit Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.